Coconut Joe here, going to teach you how to tie some knots. Saying, Coconut Joe, what do I care about knots? You don't care anything about knots until you try and tie your boat up and you look like a fool or damaged something. Coconut Joe hates to see that happen, especially when it happens to people that he cares about the most, my public. In that spirit, I'm going to show you how to tie three knots. If you know how to tie these three knots, you'll know all the knots you need to tie in order to operate a boat up to 40 or 50 feet long. Those three knots are the clove hitch, the half hitch, and the bowline. Okay? Let's start with the clove hitch. The clove hitch is done by, now watch, when I pull the free end of the rope with my hand, I have the other one like this. You know why? It's going to play catch. Gotcha. It's going to pass underneath. Okay. Now it's coming around. It's coming around. Oh, give it to this hand. Okay, same thing. Oh, what's it going to do? It's going to play catch too. Huh. It's a clove hitch. You want to make it pretty? Go like that. See? Now, the half hitch is where you come in here. This is what locks it. Half hitch one. Half hitch two. Et voila. The nice thing about knots that you tie, instead of tying some kind of monkey fist, cluster F, is that you can untie the knot too. See? Now one more time. I'm going to tie it like this, like this, underneath, pull it tight, give it a half hitch, give it another half hitch. That, that combination of knots is near 100% line strength. So if you're going to tie a boat up in a hurricane, you wouldn't tie it up with anything other than those two knots. Ain't that something? Now look, our half hitch is very versatile. Here's how you tie to a cleat if you don't have a loop. Most people, when they tie to a cleat and they don't have a loop, they go like this. I'm going to wrap it around, wrap it around. Yeah, that's great. That'll hold for a little while until it starts to get loose. That, ain't gonna, that is not going to lock on itself. There's one very simple key to this. After you wrap it around, you just have to loop it. See, it looks an awful lot like that clove hitch did, didn't it? Like if I wanted to tie a clove hitch right now, all I'd need to do is that. That's a clove hitch, right? Well, I just tied a clove hitch out of that end of the cleat. But that's not what we like to do with cleats. We can do half hitches. Just tie it like that and like that. That's all you need to have to tie an anchor off. Try it again. Take a loop around. One loop. The other loop. Okay? Just watch it over and over again until you get it right. But wait, Coconut Joe, I want a loop in there because I'm anal retentive. Okay. Or I'm staying at a strange dock and I really don't want to have to know exactly where I had it tied up all the time. Well, we do that. You need to tie a bowl and knot. And that's the key piece of information you need to know right there. Memorize how that loop sits. See that? See that? See that? Okay. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. And around and back to the other side. Draw it up tight. Why, you've got a mighty fine loop. And those are the three knots you need to know. I hope you found this film stimulating and informative. Good day!